Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on how to renew the MDM license or how to activate the MDM license. Many times we come to know that uh, we use the MDM uh, application and after certain period of time the license get expired. Then we create Informatica MDM support ticket to get the new license. We get the license and we sometimes get confused how, what are the steps we need to follow with the, then we contact the support team they help so instead of doing all those steps we we actually created this video tutorial so that in future so whenever you're going to activate or renew your license mdm license then you can come this uh, video tutorial and follow those steps so the steps are very simple and uh, we have some prerequisite for it so make sure that you have got the latest license so you can open the license file and see you can see the dates are correct or not once the license uh, you verify uh, the next thing is like you have to check whether the any mdm job is going on or not if it is going on let it complete don't stop in between or don't change the license file if the job is going on in between then stop the database server and then stop the application server like if you're using the jboss web logic or web spear you have to start you have to stop that application server so that ultimately cleans and the hub server will get stopped and these are the main steps you have to follow so basically there are five steps the first step is you have to take backup of the license file which is already present inside the hub server license and the hub cleans license location so i will show you in my local system so i have the info directory hub then i have the cleans location inside the cleans we have the license file so make sure you have to yeah uh, you took this license uh, the backup of this file as well as backup of one more license uh, the license file available inside the hub server uh, license location so these two files location uh, these two license file has uh, we have to take backup for those two files once we done with the backup uh, we will get a uh, uh, the license file which will be having some a different name name for that license file so we have to change the name of that file from the given name to the cyperian dot license make sure you are uh, you are not making any uh, typographical uh, um, mistakes or there is no um, case sensitive issues make sure the dot license is appended sometimes we make dot text if you are um, if you sometime open that in the notepad notepad or notepad plus plus we wrongly save as a text file so make sure you have the ex extension as a license the next thing you have to copy this newly create uh, the this new license file in these two location hub server license and the cleans license so this i have shown the location first you have to put the file inside the info, uh, the installation directory hub cleans license do not keep the old license file here uh, sometimes if people think i will may i will mention it's a backup dot bkp or underscore backup like that but don't keep any file here if you keep any backup file or any other file other than the license file your hub server will not or mdm hub console will not work so make sure there will be only one file and the name of file is cypn dot license uh, so whenever you get new file remove uh, take the backup of the old file delete that old file and copy the newly uh, license file here inside the hub cleans license there is one more location that is hub server license hub server license so here also again you have to you have to do the same step first take the backup of this file then delete this file from this location and copy the newly got the license file which is you have recently renamed to the separate dot license once you're done then the last and important step is you have to bounce the all the server like the you have to bounce the clean server as well as the hub server
ultimately you are going to bounce the application server so make sure you are doing all those things in the sequence once you are done then you can access your mdm hub console or the idd application by appropriately uh, invoking the urls for the hub server you can use the low like for mine case i'm using localhost the port 8080 and the cmx similarly you can use your appropriate uh, endpoint url and access your mdm solution mdm hub console i hope this uh, so this video tutorial will, will definitely help you in your future uh, cases like while you're going to activate or renew your license file for the mdm thank you for watching the video and you can subscribe my channel as well have a nice day